Hello and welcome. This is Hless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. One of the things I want to do in the very beginning of this tutorial is ensure that you've got your app that we've been working on, two activities open. And let's go take a look at a few things. Um, main activity job. This is what we did last time. We did this button, we did the on click listener, and then we did use the intent uh, to activate the second one, the second activity. All right. Now, what we're going to do this time is we're going to do the, a little bit different. We're going to do the same thing, but what we're going to do is we're going to go into Activity 2 XML, and I want you to add this right here to the button. Android on click, my click. Now, remember my click, because you're going to see it again here in a second when we work with Activity 2. My click is the name of the method. So, when we have this here we're going to go in to our activity 2.java and we're going to create this public void method very simple to create public void my click view intent intent equals new intent this main activity dot class and start activity intent and what that does once you've started it up is we've already familiarized ourselves with primary because that button is what we created last time it goes over to secondary so we click button again and using the secondary Java we go back to primary and very simple very easy but there's two different ways to do the exact same thing all right let's begin to learn how to share information from one activity to the next in this activity uh, we're going to be putting our first and our last names and then sending them over to the second activity so you're going to need to put two edit text blocks here and what I did was I went in and I made them 200, I believe, DP. Yes, 200 DP wide, centered them. And then for the, for this, what you can read, this is called the hint. I put in last name for the last one and first name for the first one. Uh, that way I wouldn't have to put another extra little uh, text box out here for the first and name and last name label. And uh, when you fill it in, that will be replaced uh, with your name. And I called this one edit text first name and you guessed it edit text last name once you've got those placed you're gonna have to go into your main activities Java and we're gonna do a little code changing all right because we're gonna have to use these um, uh, variables more than one place I dropped uh, the edit text edit text first name, edit text last name uh, variables here in the very beginning. And if you'll notice, this is a little bit different uh, than what we previously had. But we go past here, the on create, a little bit past there, and then we add the edit text first name equals edit text, find view by ID, edit text first name. And that's what we call those on our XML. And I did the same thing, edit text last name equals edit text, find view by ID, resource ID, edit text last name. Uh, button one is only used here, uh, so only to clear here's a button. Uh, I could have cleared it at the top uh, as a, you know with these other variables, but I didn't because we only use it here. Button. Button one equals button find view by ID resource ID and button one because that's what we called it. Okay, next we're going to assign button one a, a listener. So button one dot set on click listener new view on click listener and that should auto fill. And in this override public void on click view v. We're going to do what's, uh, we're going to put the manifest file. Okay. What happens here is the manifest file on our application will uh, look for the activity if it finds one of the same class, i.e., activity two, two class. That is the intent. The intent, intent equals new intent, get application context, activity two dot class. This is what right here is what the manifest will look for and if it can find it which it can because we just we've created it 
it will load that, that up. And that's our intent right there. We intend to load this up on click. Um, and then our new intent, put extra, and I will put a link in the below about some more information about put extra and intent. Uh, this F name and L name, first and last name, we have to put these here and so they can pass, be passed over to our Activity 2 Java, but they have to be the exact same thing. Edit text, first name, get text, to string, and we have to cast them as strings. Um, the put extra method is used to add a key value pair to the object. The first parameter is a key, a, the name, the second is the value. Uh, we then send intent using the start activity method, which is right here. So basically, that sets you up, and that replaces our old code. It's not a whole lot bigger. Um, basically, the bigger change is uh, the intent uh, and put extra right here. So that's probably the biggest change. So we've got that done. Now that you've got all that coded done, very little change. We then go over to Activity 2 and get ready to receive this. Um, before we do that, we have to set up Activity 2 with this. It's a text view and I just put first and last name and I called it the view. Let me go in here and look. Uh, text view, text view, first and last name, so it's just the text and the ID is the view. So that's all that you need to add to Activity 2 XML. It's that one little thing. All right, so now we'll go into Activity 2 Java. And we've added a little bit here. Uh, first, we need to find the text view. So the view equals, and of course, I did declare it up here. Uh, the view equals text view, find view by ID, resource ID, the view, intent, intent, get intent. And this is what calls on that intent receive intent and extra string objects the f name and l name those are the string objects that we're sending so there they are intent get strings and there it is exactly as we put it in the first one and then the view set text and this will print it out in this order first name and last name your name is first name and last name and then public void intent intent new intent main activity start activity intent um, it's this right here is just basically a, a little new addition to this activity too. So got that good. Then you run it. I've already got an emulator up and running. So mine should pop right up. There we go. First name, last name. So I'm going to put in ageless. My last name, John. And get out. Oh, no, I have to escape to get out. Then I hit the button and it'll take me to activity two. Secondary, your name is Ageless John. And there we've just passed information from one activity to another activity. Super cool. Hope you learned a little bit. Uh, I'll put a lot of links in the bottom for other resources that will help you d delve deeper into this subject and get a better grasp on it. I know this stuff can be uh, hard to understand and to grasp. Uh, but with practice, it, gets, it get, does get easier. Uh, so just keep on, keep on, keep on. This has been Aces John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Glad you could join me. Until next time.